Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So you may have seen me posting some AI images in my community tab. Um, just some cute little images that I created using different um, AI platforms. And someone asked me to show you all how I get those images. So right now I'm in Bing, I think it's called Copilot now. I think they changed the name, but I go to bing.com slash images slash create. And this is the website that comes up. It may ask you to log in, but I have a um, Microsoft account. So I just hit log in. It just takes me to my Microsoft account. So you may have to create a, an account. You may not, depending on if you have a Microsoft account already. But um, you'll get to this page. And here is where I type in a prompt. A prompt is just basically words that you put together to describe what you want to see in the image. And your first time here, you will actually get 15 credits. I've been designing some today. So I'm down to nine. Um, and it's 15 fast credits or boost is what they call it. Um, once you run out of boost, you can still create images. They just won't create as fast as the 15 um, boost that you had before. Um, there's also a word count limit. I'm not sure what it is. So I try to make sure that um, whatever prompt I'm using is below the word count. I'm sorry, I don't know what the word count is. Um, but I'm going to type in a prompt here. And usually, so I have um, the paid version of ChatGPT um, that I can create images on, which is $20 a month. And also I have Midjourney, the paid subscription for $10 a month. So I use those two mostly, but whenever I want to practice, um, I come over to Bing because you can make free images in Bing. You just can't sell them commercially. Um, I use them in my planner um, to make posts on here on YouTube and different places like that. Um, so Bing is a great place to start if you want to start something free. Um, just know that you can, whatever you create in Bing, you can't use it commercially. I don't know if in the future they're going to create something to where maybe there's a paid subscription and you'll be able to use the images you create. But as of right now, as far as I know, you can't um, use these images commercially. So let me type in a prompt. Craft a detailed digital illustration of a serene sewing room with shelves of colorful thread, a vintage then I cannot spell <laughs> vintage sewing machine and cushions and a dress form great with great with fabric sunlight filters through lace curtains, casting a warm glow on the room, capturing the essence of a peaceful sewing Haven. All right, so I'm just going to hit create and I'm going to see what we get. All right, and you get four images and here are the images. And I'll put the prompt in the description box below for you. Um, when I first started using these programs, 
I went to Etsy and I bought some prompt guides. Um, this didn't just come off the top of my head. I've been using prompt guides for a while, so now I know how to word certain things. So I'm better at it. But when I first started, I had to um, find some prompt guides <laughs> to help me along my journey. Um, because you can do something simple. You This is with all these extra intricate words. Um, you don't even have to type all of that. Um, I'm going to do a simple prompt for you. Um, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm also working on a prompt guide myself. Um, for sewing and crafting images, sewing, knitting, crocheting. I'm working on a prompt guide for that um, so I can have that available for people who want it um, and want to create these images. So let me go out and I'm just going to hit the X and see if I can go with a simpler prompt. All right, let's see. Create an air brushed digital illustration of a beautiful African American chibi woman wearing a denim button down dress and glasses with long braided hair but with a with a long braided hairstyle she is Standing in her sewing room, surrounded by shelves of fabric, a sewing table with a sewing mat, an ironing board in the corner and a dress on. Uh, she has a vintage style sewing machine sitting on the table with Spools of thread, scissors, and buttons. So look around your sewing room and see how it's set up. And then type that in this space here. Hit create and see what you come up with. All right, so here are the images that I got. And it looks like I got almost everything. Um, <laughs> look at her foot down here. <laughs> That's always funny to me. Hands and feet sometimes come out awkward. Um, but look, this is what this is one of the images. Here's another one of the images. I got the shelves of fabric back here. I got the cutting um, mat. The spools of thread, the buttons, the sewing machines, the scissors, the dress form. Um, I don't see an ironing board. Uh, here's another one. This one is super cute. <laughs> right. And then here's another one. All right. So I'll link both of the prompts in the description box below. Um, as well as the website that you go to. Um, but this is how I create some of the images, some of the AI images that I use on my community tab. I post them on Instagram sometimes. Um, but mostly I turn these into stickers and put them in my planner. Um, so, yeah. 
If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I am not an expert. I am still learning. Um, like I said, the, I used I used to buy prompt guides from Etsy, but I couldn't really find any that were sewing related. So I took some of those prompts and I tweaked them and made them sewing related. And that's how I get some of the sewing images um, that I have. Um, and again, I am working on a prompt guide with sewing, crocheting, knitting um, prompts um, to open this up to the crafting world. All right. Um, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Oh, before I do that, <laughs> if you create these images and you like them, hit download and they download to your computer. All right. And then you can... Um, print these on sticker paper, however you want to use them. You can use them in Instagram posts, on your community tab on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, however you want to use them, you can use them. Um, just not commercially. All right. Um, meaning you can't sell the images. Um, but with um, the chat GPT paid subscription, I'm not an affiliate for either one of these chat GPT or mid journey, but on their paid subscriptions, you can use images commercially. There's another site called um, Leonardo AI. You can actually use their images um, commercially. However, you don't own the rights to the images. So you could see your images somewhere on the internet with their free version. But um, I was trying to look so I can show you their plans. There we go. So premium plans here, they have the free version. Then um, let me go to the monthly. Um, they have $12 a month, $30 a month, $60 a month. I'm still using the free version of Leonardo practicing, but um, under the frequently asked questions, uh, can I use my generated images com for commercial projects? And it says yes. However, the rights to use generated images and commercial pro blah, 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 <laughs> projects vary based on your subscription status. Meaning for the paid subscribers, you have full ownership of your images. For the free ones, Leonardo owns the right to your images. So if you see your image on a website or something like that, um, they have the right to do that because they own your image. Um, but you can still use it if you want to commercially. Um, and Playground AI is another one, but I haven't had the chance to go on Playground AI yet um, to create anything. I, I don't really understand it yet, so I haven't had a chance to go on there and really work with it. Um, but yes, back to being... <laughs> um, if you have any questions um, put them in the description box below for me um, if you like this video click the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I will see you in the next one